Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Matt with MJ Gable. Today, how to get into the diamond business number 10. We're going to discuss equipment and the basics of equipment and then more advanced equipment as you get started. Um, but as you get started, you're going to want to know um, what type of equipment and um, what you should be getting into in order to properly grade diamonds, both mounted and loose. So a good loop. Let's start with that. Every good diamond grader appraiser jeweler has a great loop. So I like the Belomos. These are called triplets. There's three pieces of glass in here. They're ultra, ultra clear. Um, I, I like the style. I like the way that they feel. I've always liked these loops. Um, we've got many of them around. Um, that's pretty much all that we use for our diamond gratings as far as loops. You're going to want to get yourself a good pair of tweezers. Um, there's fine, there's medium. So there's different types of tweezers. We have a bunch of them, as you can see back there, that we can choose from depending on whether we're working with Melly, um, three, four carat stones, or like carrots and halves. And then you're gonna wanna get a millimeter gauge. That's obviously for um, millimeter sizes of diamonds for um, understanding what size you have if they're mounted. Master set right there. So that's for color grading along with your sleeve, your color grade sleeve. You're gonna want a good travel scale. I would recommend starting with the travel scale. If you do travel and buy on the road, a fluorescent light for diamond fluorescence and testing, and then a diamond tester. Now, I th this is, you don't have to get a diamond tester, but if you're fairly new and you're not sure what a moissanite looks like, it can simulate a diamond. If you don't know what to look for as far as like the double refractive, um, the, the color green that typically will pop from some of the moissanites. If you don't know what you're looking for, I would suggest getting a, just a pen diamond tester that will tell you whether it's synthetic or diamond. These are not always very accurate. These do test positive for, for lab-grown diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds are diamonds. They're not natural, but they're lab-grown. But these diamond testers will not work on lab-grown diamonds. They will test diamond. So keep that in mind. So, and then as you get started and going, then you can upgrade your scale and then you can get into like a microscope that we use very often that does 10, 20, and I think 30 times magnification. You're always going to want good grading lights. We use Gemoro. Um, we used to use fluorescent lights and then we upgraded into the gem oral lights. And then the color grading is really important. We have a color grading box here from GIA that we use to color grade our diamonds, um, both loose and mounted. This helps tremendously. This is more getting into the advanced stages. And then of course, you're going to want to get into a lab grown diamond tester and make sure that, um, you're testing for lab grown stones. We test everything that comes in and out of our facility. Um, so if a client sends us something, the first thing we process the package when it comes in, whether it's one diamond or a hundred diamonds, and we run them through our uh, Falcon lab grown diamond tester to make sure that they're either natural or lab grown. And even if it's a lab grown, we still test it to make sure. And then if we sell something, obviously it's the same thing. It gets tested, um, it gets tested on our machine before we ship it out to make sure that um, they're getting what they're supposed to be getting. So this is the basic equipment that you're gonna need. And then you get more advanced equipment, like a better scale, obviously a microscope, your um, lab grown diamond tester, and then a color grading hood that you can use. So sorry, it's a short video this week, a little busy with the new baby and catching up on some work stuff. So uh, Tanner, I haven't forgot about you. If you happen to see this video, I did get your message. And um, I'm going to work on that. I just got to wait for the wife to come back. She's more versed in the gemstone stuff. So we want to make sure we're giving you good information. So I'm going to get her involved probably in that video. Uh, if there's a topic that you guys want to see or something you guys want me to cover, let me know in the comments. Happy to cover it for you. Um, if you guys like the content I throw out there, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And, of course, leave a comment so I know what you guys are watching. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.